You know, we've been practicing hard, me and Carson throwing a bunch of deep balls these past few weeks, and, you know, it's finally paying off. It feels great. The whole season, uh, you know, getting into the end zone, you get two in this game, you know, you didn't have a catch in the last game either, so is this just a big bounce back game for you? Yeah, for sure. I think kind of as a staff and me and Carson, we kind of looked at last game and, you know, this season and said we got to, you know, turn it around. And, you know, I think uh, we uh, gained some trust in one another, you know, just airing it out to each other. And, you know, I think that really helped out today and just hopefully we can keep it going. Kyle, you've had a couple of games or you've had some near misses when it comes to getting to quarterback and getting them on the ground. You know, how rewarding was it to actually get there and complete the plays today? Yeah, it was awesome. I mean, it's always frustrating when you you know work so hard as D lineman. We don't get many chances always, and uh, you don't get it. So, um, it was just a collective effort. You know, uh, I think today was a the first time as a D line we really came together and uh, um, really dominated the game, and that that was a focus point for us. So, um, definitely a good feeling. Kind of what made it happen today as opposed to other weeks? I don't know. Um, you know, just it's it's you just got to constantly work. You know, sometimes the um, the quarterback will fall into your lap, and sometimes he won't. I guess. Um, so, like I said, you know, uh, I think a, a couple, or one or two of those sacks. Um, you know, we got to give credit to the teammates. I think they pushed them right into me. So, uh, you know, sometimes uh, sometimes you get lucky. I guess. How was it at all to see uh, the defense give up a, a score in the fourth quarter? Yeah, I mean, we we always preach finishing strong. You know, start fast, finish strong. Um, yeah, I think I think it's a, it'll be good for those guys. But there's a lot of younger guys in at that point um, to see on tape to see where they can get better. Um, we never want to give up <laughs> points, uh, but uh, I think those guys will see it and they'll, they'll improve from it. So that look, uh, Kyle, with uh, you and Mike going on the inside, um, a what do you think of that, and was it effective today? Yeah, I think it, I think it might have been a little more effective against Southern, but. Uh, um, you know, we, we like to get our pass rushers out there. I think we put Han and Greg um, on the outside and uh, get a little more speed out there. And, and, I, and I like it. It's, it's, uh, it uh, switches stuff up. Um, I get to see a different look, different, uh, different uh, usually going against a guard instead of the same tackle all day. So uh, it it's kind of switches it up, and I like it. Carson, it was pretty clear early on that you and Zach were on the same page. When it's going like that, how confident are you in just letting him go get it? Oh, absolutely. You know, me and Zach, um, We've developed a quality relationship over the last couple of years here, and um, obviously, come Saturdays, it hasn't been clicking up to this point. But you know, we've been able to just ride the waves and stay with it. And like like he already mentioned, uh, this week we really made an extra emphasis on being on the same page and repped a, lo a lot of different deep balls and things like that. So I mean, it was awesome to finally get him out there and uh, finally get those things executed. What can you say about the time you had back there? A couple of times, looked like you'd make a sandwich or something. Oh yeah, there's. <laughs> I told the I told the Rams after that drive, I was like, that's a heck of a drive. Um, I told him a couple of those third downs. I'm like, those third downs you guys picked up because I had all day to just stand back there. And, um, you know, if you give me that much time, I'm going to eventually find something. So Rams did a heck of a job keeping me up today, and I uh, love those guys. Having Zach back at practice, how much does that make things easier to play today? Oh, absolutely. You know, there's a. Uh, like I said, we, we've developed a relationship over the years, but still um, with each different stuff that we put in each week, um, different routes and those types of things, um, it's, it's crucial for him to be out there as much as he can um, to not aggravate that foot as well. Um, but it was huge this week, and uh, it finally paid off today. You know, after a close shave, Western Illinois, do you feel like you guys kind of made somewhat of a statement in the last two weeks with, you know, how, how dominant you were in the last couple of games? Yeah, I mean, that was that was almost a wake-up game for us. We didn't feel like, you know, both sides of the ball, we didn't feel like we came out and played the way that we normally do. Um, I know defensively, especially, um, the fact that we had been giving up rushing yards, and we pride ourselves on stopping the run, and uh, we hadn't been doing that. That was a big emphasis today. I thought we came out fast, um, stopped the run, um, were able to get out after the passer. Considered pretty full strength sack today. Uh, I think so. I think this next week I'll I'll be back 100%. I mean today I'm still every once in a while some routes will aggravate it, but I mean overall I'm feeling great. Kyle, did you get a sense from the guys during the week that this was more motivation since Indiana State was the last team to beat you guys? Was that talk about it all? Um, definitely. You know, I brought it up to our guys. You know the. Um, my lasting memory or memory of them coming here was them dancing in the middle of the field and celebrating. Um, they we didn't feel like they really uh, respected the Fargo Dome, respected our fans, respected our team, um, and you know we came out and we uh, we definitely wanted to make a statement, and uh, I think we did that. Carson, can you talk a little bit about the importance of the, the running game today? No, oh, the running games, you know, it's always huge. We pride ourselves on it. Um, Statistically wise, you know, we were 
right around that 200 mark again, and that's that's huge for us. Um, it takes a lot of pressure off of me, you know, to have a guy like John Crockett um, who can get it done through the air as well. You saw his long, uh, the screen play to him too. So the running game and those tailbacks, um, they're very versatile. Um, as you see, we've been using them in different different ways, catching the balls and stuff. So those guys make my life a lot easier. Career high in completions for you, something that you noticed or no? I guess not really. <laughs> Overall, do you feel this is your best overall performance when you combine where the offense and defense played for, for most of the game? Uh, collectively, as a team, I thought we played played very well. You know, obviously the letdowns at the end, um, something you don't want to see. Um, with Chase's fumble there, um, they take it take it for six points, and I, I know Chase was kicking himself. Um, those are things we just got to iron out and finish strong. Um, the defense giving up that that touchdown at the end, you know, they're not perfect. They're not. They're not going to go the whole year without giving up points in the fourth quarter. Um, we'd like to hope that they can, but it's just being realistic. So we just like to like to finish stronger. But overall, I thought we played a heck of a ball game today. Now five games left in the regular season. It's weird to say you guys are unbeaten. Do you feel like you're trending in an upward direction? You guys are keep playing better as the season going along. Here? Yeah, definitely. I think we're peaking at the right time. Um, in the defensive end room, we were talking that, about that as well. You know, we're really getting into the grind of the schedule. Obviously, three games in the Missouri Valley, but we feel like um, we're playing defensively. We're playing. Um, we're getting better each and every week. You know, we weren't exactly where we wanted to be at the beginning of the season. I know our offense is starting to click and get rolling. So, uh, um, but it all comes back to the preparation. And Coach Kleiman talks about it every day. You know, winning the play, winning the day. Um, so, you know, Monday through Thursday, we have to come ready to prepare because, um, obviously, as we as we've seen in this league, anyone can beat you on any day.